Hey guys, and welcome to my 34 week bump date. I'm actually going to do this bump date while I'm cooking dinner today, um, just because I'm multitasking at the moment. Um, so, as far as week 34 goes, we are officially 26 months into um, when we actually started trying to have a baby. So, that's pretty. Um, you know, pretty long, two years, a little over two years, but we're so excited and so thankful just to be kind of, you know, where we're at. Um, as far as symptoms this um, week goes, one of the biggest ones is just pure exhaustion. I'm just tired all the time. I spend a lot of time in bed. Um, I spend a lot of time sleeping. Whoa, sorry about that. Um, and I just, I can't seem to get enough sleep at this point. I'm also not sleeping a lot during the nighttime, um, which adds to kind of my daytime sleeping, just because I'm up constantly having to go to the bathroom and whatnot. Um, and, but I'm just, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Um, any little things kind of just tires me out, wears me out quickly. Um, I do have still a lot of increased urination. I was checked at my doctor's appointment and I do not have a UTI. Um, they did say though that Luke's, Luke is head down and he is um, pushing right on my bladder. So it's causing me to have to go to the bathroom a bit more than um, normal. Um, I also this week, I mean, it's been going on for a while now, but it's really kind of hit um, a major peak this week is just that I'm not hungry at all. I don't, I don't want to eat. I don't, nothing sounds good. Nothing tastes good. I'm just kind of overeating at this point. Um, plus, when I eat, I can only take a few bites and then I'm full. Um... Or, and I, I get major, major heartburn, too, when I'm eating. Um, pretty much any time I get really bad heartburn. Um, I am still dealing with the shortness of breath issue. Um, I told you last week in my other update that I was, um, they upped my Q bar. And, um, so I went to the doctor and... Everything was good with that. It's helping a little bit, but I still am constantly finding myself just out of breath, especially when we walk up the stairs to our apartment. I usually have to take like five minutes before I can do anything else, just because I can't really breathe. Um, I do have still the same aches and pains. I'm still swelling quite a bit. Um, you know, backache. My belly is tender and hurty. Um... I'm doing my vlog. He scared me. I'm cooking dinner too. Um, what else? Um, oh, and the last thing this week as far as symptoms go is, um, it has felt like somebody has stuck a knife up inside of my vagina and then turned a taser on that was on the end of it. It is so, like, shocky and painful. It hurts so bad. And it, it's accompanied with the um, contractions that I've been experiencing. It happens more frequently with the contractions. So I'm not sure if um, that has something to do with it or not. I'm not sure if anything is changing down there. One woman did say that it's a really good sign because it means that things are starting to happen, um, which I really hope is the case because I would hate to have to feel this for no reason um, whatsoever. So as far as my midsection goes, um, my belly did actually shrink a bit and I think it's just because of Luke changing from transverse to head down since he's not sideways anymore. He's, um, you know, long so I'm shorter or skinnier around, so I'm 41 inches around now, and I have gained a total of 
just shy of 34 pounds this entire pregnancy. Um, so about 135.2 pounds, which is still fine. Um, I'm within my target um, of between 30 and 40 pounds overall, just because I was slightly underweight pre-pregnancy. Um, so that's about it as far as week 34 goes. We did go to the doctor, like I said. Um, it was actually probably the best OB appointment that we've had. And um, we just got a lot accomplished. We got a lot of stuff kind of in the notes and the notes all sorted out. So everything should be copacetic now. So I do go back at 35 weeks, which is my regularly scheduled appointment. And then um, I should probably start on my weekly appointments then. So I will give you, and you can kind of see the belly, but I'll scoot back a little so you can see the full belly. And then I will see you guys in my 35 week bumpy. So here's my belly. I turned into one of those girls that has their belly hanging out all the time. So that's it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.